Hey there students, um, on this clip we're going to get additional practice on how to use the arithmetic series and um, arithmetic sequence formulas, okay? So write on the title of this clip, um, additional practice, additional practice on arithmetic series. In sequences. In sequences. Okay. All right. Let's continue the following examples. Um, example one. Uh, we have it says find a set for each arithmetic series described. You have these a one a n and n equals twelve. So let's write down the formula for the sum of an arithmetic series. S n equals n over two times a1 plus an. Remember, you have one equation, you must have only one unknown. So let's list what we have. We have four unknown, four variables here, so we need at least three to solve this equation, okay? So we need three. So let's see what we have. We know that a1 is 12, n is 12, a sub n is 100, and sn is what we're looking for. So we have only one unknown, so we're good to go. Alright, so let's find the sum of this series. It's going to be n over 2, which is 12, over 2 by substituting 12 for n, times a1, which is 12, plus an, which is 100. So that's going to give us um, 12 over 2 is 6, 6 times 1, 12. And then you multiply that out. You can use your calculator to do it. Um, 6 times 1, 12. And your answer is 672. So the sum of the sequence of the series is 672. All right, let's go ahead and try another example. All right, number two, same process. We want to find Sn given this information. Let's rewrite the formula again. Sn equals n over 2 times a1 plus an. Now let's see, let's list the variables that we have, okay? So we know that uh, A1 is uh, 20, um, AN is 112, N is unknown, and SN is unknown. We have a problem here. We have one equation, two unknowns, that is excessive. We need to have only one unknown in order to be able to solve this, okay? Since we're looking for Sn, we need to consult another equation in order to determine what n is. And the other equation that involves arithmetic series of sequences is the An formula, which is An equals A1 plus N minus 1 times the common difference D. Okay? Um, if you note, note here, we have D. So D has 4. So if I incorporate these components here, I can actually find what N is and then input it here. Okay? So for this formula, I need to find n. We know what an is, we know what a1 is, and we know what d is. Okay, so let's plug it in here. So we're going to have 112 equals a1 is 20 plus n is an unknown minus 1 on the point difference of 4. All right, so let's go ahead and solve this using um, algebraic method. So we have 112 equals 20. Um, plus n minus 1 times 4. So I can subtract 20 from both sides first. So minus 20, minus 20. And then you have 92 equals 20 n minus 1 times 4. You can distribute if you want, but um, I just want to divide by 4, okay? So you're going to get the same answer. So let me divide by 4 both sides. Divide this by 4 and divide that by 4. And um, that gives me 24. Oh, wait, let's see. Okay, yeah, so it gives me 23. 23 equals n minus 1. Because this 2 force here cancel out. This goes to 1. We add 1 to both sides. Add 1, add 1. And then you get the missing n that we need. So n equals 24. All right? So now we can now we now know that n in this case equals 24. So now we have 
three knowns and one unknown so we can now use the SN formula so let's go ahead and find what the sum is so SN in this case is going to be S24 because we know that N is 24 so S24 is going to be N over 2 which is 24 over 2 times A1 plus AN 20 it's A1 AN is 112 so if we do this 24 over uh, 2 is 12 20 plus 112 is 132. If we multiply these two numbers, well, we'll get 1584. You can verify that with your calculator 12 times 132. So this is the sum of the um, of the arithmetic series. All right, let's try another example. Now, using this information right here, we're going to do the same process. We want to find SN. The SN formula again is a uh, n over 2 times a1 plus a n. Let's list what we know to make sure we have only one unknown. If we don't, if we have more than one unknown, we have to figure out one of them. Okay, so um, we have a1. A1 is 42. That's good. We have n is 8. That's good. A n. We do not know what a n is. SN is what we're supposed to find. So we have a problem here. We have two unknowns, one equation. That's too much. This equation helps us to find SN, so we need to divide some means to find AN. Okay? So we're going to have to consult the other option we have, which is the AN formula. AN equals A1 plus N minus 1 times D. And that, this formula should help us find AN, okay? Because we know that um, N is 8 and D is 6. So let's plug in this information here and then see if we can find what AN is to find the sum. We have AN equals A1 is 42 plus N. N is 8. 8 minus 1 times the common difference, which is 6. So we have 42 plus 7 times 6, which is going to yield 42 plus 42. And AN is finally going to be 84. So AN is 84. Okay. Now we have AN. Now we can plug it in here. We have one equation, one unknown. Now we can solve it for that one unknown, which is SN. Okay. So SN in this case, SN is going to be we're summing eight terms because N is eight. S8 is going to be N over two, which is eight over two times A1 plus AN 42 plus 84. And that's going to be 8 over 2 is 4. 42 plus 84 is 126. And we'll multiply 126 by 4. We get uh, 504. So the final answer is 504. So that's the sum of the, in terms of the series with the information that we provided above. So the answer is 504. Okay?